The reason why we have a diaper bank is one in three families experience diaper need. There's no assistance for diapers, WIC and food stamps do not cover them, and they cost up to $100 a month. So families are literally making choices between buying food or buying diapers, and every single time, they'll choose to buy food to feed their children and make those diapers last as long as they can. So we're seeing babies left in one diaper a day, families rinsing out and reusing diapers, and parents making really tough decisions about basic needs that they shouldn't have to make. The reason why I started the Diaper Bank is we um, fostered a baby that came to us at one day old. And he was very, very sick for the first year and a half. He was in the hospital three to five times a month for something as simple as a diaper rash. And we were um, changing his diaper um, 30 to 40 times a day. And during one of the episodes when we ended up in the emergency room, um, for a diaper rash that had gotten out of control, I was sitting with him and I started to think about what do parents do when they can't afford enough diapers for their children. I came home and I said, I think I wanna start a diaper bank. And um, I got all sorts of questions like, what's a diaper bank? And um, everyone kept asking me when I was talking about it. And I said, I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out. There's a huge need in Western part of North Carolina for diapers. Um, we get hundreds of calls from these from communities across the state, um, and a high number are coming from Western North Carolina. Uh, we hear from families that are working very, very hard, but still cannot provide the most basic needs. Uh, we did a research study that looked at families that receive our products and we found that over 78% of them are working one to three jobs. We are really talking about working families, families that care so deeply for their children, that work really hard, but still not, cannot provide something as simple as a diaper. Our goal is to cover every bottom in North Carolina, and so we are really proud to be partnering with Aeroflow to do a diaper drive in Western North Carolina. Um, they are as committed as we are to making sure that babies are staying clean, dry, and healthy, and we are really excited to be working with them on this project. Aeroflow approached us because they were aware of the fact that families were struggling in Western North Carolina and they wanted to do something really tangible to help out. And they wanted to make sure that babies and families got the products that they need. And so they were have been amazing. There's something incredibly powerful about a corporation and a nonprofit working together. It um, has a ripple effect in the community and through our nonprofit, it has really amplified the work that we're doing and so we're really grateful for that partnership. In April, Aeroflow is hosting a fabulous diaper drive where they're collecting diapers of all sizes to cover bottoms across Western North Carolina. We encourage you to reach out to them, go to their website and find out all the places you can drop off diapers to help keep babies clean, dry and healthy.